Hi everybody, it's Joey, and I'm here to do a, um, October favorites. So this is the, all the products I've been loving from the month of October, from makeup, fragrances, favorite, even favorite TV shows. So here is the favorites video. So, I'm going to start off with makeup, because that's the one I think I have the most of. So let's get started. So, first makeup product I've been loving for the month of October. By the way, I have the AC on, so it's a little loud. Sorry about that. Vampira by Kat Von D. Um, I love this color. That's all I can really say. I love this color. Um, that's all I like about it, is the color. I'm gonna be real. Um, I don't like the formula. I don't like how it dries matte. I don't like liquid lipsticks. Uh, this was a mistake buying a liquid lipstick, but that was that was my on my fault. That was my bad. Um, I just wanted to try something new, something different. No, I don't have any liquid lipsticks. So like, let me buy a liquid lipstick. I had this on Sunday. I had an outfit of the day. I had an outfit of the day. I'm gonna say Sunday, yeah. And I was wearing this. It kept coming off throughout the day. It, it it did not stay on. I didn't do anything. I had some french fries, that's finger food, and I drank from a straw. So by the end of the, by the middle of the day, the lipstick was completely off. I wish I had a picture to show you. So I reapplied and then it came off again. And then the only thing I had on my lips from when I came home, because I did not reapply it a third time, because I was like, this is ridiculous now, it's a liquid lipstick, it should stay on all day. I had a little, I swear I'm not even exaggerating, I had a little bit over here on the top of my lip, and that's it. Everything else was completely gone. Liquid lipsticks, for me, don't work. However, I love the color for fall, I love the color for October, so I did wear this a couple times this month. But... I will never buy a liquid lipstick ever again. But that's Vampire. Okay. Um, next. <clears throat> There's another Kat Von D product. I have a few Kat Von D products. Yes. The concealer. Locker concealer. <coughs> Excuse me. I use this under my eyes, and I use this where I have, like, the most acne or the most redding, which is on my upper lip and on my chin. That's where I use it from. I love the applicator. It's my color. My color is neutral. And I love the applicator. You just pat it on. You know, boop, boop, boop. And then I... Which goes into my next favorite. I blend it in with this brush from Kat Von D. Which is what I've been loving this month of October too. It's in 40. And it's the concealer brush. And I just blend it out on my face and everything. The concealer. So these two go together for the month of October, the favorites. Love that. <clears throat> um, my next favorite is a Too Faced Chocolate Bar Returner. This, uh, no. <laughs> Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, the original. And it has a, a natural cocoa powder in it, so it smells like, um, chocolate. And it does smell like chocolate. So, um, yeah, that's that. Colors are really pretty. Very cute. I love I love these colors for the fall, especially the month of October, because they have a lot of. I'm wearing it now on my eyes. I'll give you a close up at the end of the video, but I'm wearing. Um, you know, I like to wear a lot of like gold and browns and like maroon colors for the month of um, October and November and the fall. So, and this has a little, this palette has a lot of those colors. I've been hitting pan on a couple of these um, colors, and I absolutely love this palette for this month. The next makeup item I'm going to show you is a Jeffree Star lipstick, which I talked about a little bit in my Fullgasm tag video. I bought one lipstick, love lipsticks better than liquid lipsticks, I did not buy any Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. Um, I regret buying Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, but um, I, did, I do love his lip ammunition which is his regular lipstick 
love it. This is in the color Celebrity Skin. I love the formula. It's very soft and soothing on the lips. Um, do I like the packaging? Not the, the not really, because I really don't like pink, the color pink. But um, it's unique. I like it. Although it's not that unique, because it kind of looks like a MAC lipstick, honestly, when you think about it. Let me show you a MAC lipstick, right? Kind of has that bullet thing going on. Yeah, it's kind of similar to that. But um, the color is long-lasting. In fact, this lipstick lasts longer. And I'm not even throwing shit at Kat Von Z because I love Kat Von D. But this lipstick lasts longer than Kat Von D's liquid lipstick. And I'm not even exaggerating. On my lips. I don't know if anyone... But on my lips, this is my opinion. On my lips, this lasts longer than this. And I'm not even a J big Jeffree Star fanatic. I'm just saying, like, that's just the truth of what's going on when I wear it. So... I love the color, perfect for the fall, it's dark brown nude, um, smells like, it doesn't smell, it doesn't have a really strong smell, but you do smell the orange and the vanilla, uh, orange creamsicle, yeah, that's what's supposed to smell like, I have a hint of that, it's not that strong. Um, I do like this lipstick, I would have bought, um, one other lipstick that he had in this, uh, I think it was called Unicorn Blood, which was also in his liquid lipstick line. Uh, I was gonna buy that, but I already bought the Kat Von D lip lipstick, and I was like, you know what? I was like, I have, I already have this dark lipstick color. I was like, I'm not gonna wear the Jeffree Star one because I already have something similar to it. Even though the the Kat Von D lipstick is a little darker than Unicorn Blood, it's still a similar color. It's that reddish, rusty, dark red. So it's kind of similar. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'll just use up the Kat Von D lipstick and then whenever I'm done with it, I will go on to use Unicorn Blood. Or I'll buy Unicorn Blood when I'm almost finished with this. Because I don't I don't like to, if I buy Unicorn Blood, I'm just going to be using Unicorn Blood. I'm not even going to use Kat Von D and that's going to be a waste of money. So that's the way I look at it. So I, yes, I do love and that's one of my favorites for the month of October. Next thing is the contour. I'm not wearing contour and highlight today, but this is the contour and highlight um, by Anastasia Beverly Hills light to medium contour kit. Okay. And I use these two colors to highlight, and then I just use the middle color to contour. So far, anyways, that's what I do. I contour and highlight my cheeks and my nose. That's all I highlight. Excuse me. That's all I highlight in contour. I don't highlight a contour on my forehead, my upper lip, or my chin. Just the cheeks and the nose. Okay, so what I use to apply the contour and highlight with is another Kat Von D brush, which I'm loving. It comes in this cute packaging. This this brush didn't come in a cute packaging, which sucks, but this one did. So it opens like this, and it has the Kat Von D signature thing on top, on top of it. And then this is the contour and highlight duo brush. So this is the, the side you highlight. This is the side you contour. And I love both sides of them. Love, love, love. Love it. Love this, uh, love these brushes. I'm gonna put it back in the case. So that's it, right? I think that's all the makeup I've been loving for the month of October. Now, let's get to fragrances. Now, I'm gonna start with um, hand sanitizer and then work my way. So the, my first favorite is the pumpkin patch. Pumpkin pie. This is one of my the hand sanitizer I've been using the whole month of October. I'm loving it so so much. Loving it so much. Uh, love the smell. It smells. It smells sweet like pumpkin pie crust, but then it smells a little bit like um, orange, like a citrus note, and then you smell the pumpkin. So it's citrusy pumpkin with some vanilla crust. Shower gel in the bathroom I've been loving all month of October is um, pumpkin latte marshmallow. Just putting that out there because that's the answer. To that. So going with the marshmallow pumpkin latte fragrance, I do am using a shower gel and I'm also using it for the month of October. Pumpkin latte marshmallow fine fragrance mist and I'm half almost I'm more than halfway done with it. I love this smell. Mmm. Mmm. Smells so sweet and comforting. This is the packaging from two years ago. So, even though I like the packaging for the Five Fragrances better this year, this from two years ago, 
and I love this one. My, one of my favorites for the month of fall. Love it. I also got the matching cream. Um, no stop pumpkin latte, toast and marshmallow, creamy something with white ginger pearly moss. This is all oh, these two products are also my Bath and Body Works no buy. So I've been using up these two products and I'm like what halfway done in the cream too. Love it. Mmm, smells so good. Okay, the two perfumes I've been loving. The first one is Angels and Demon La Secret by Givenchy. It's a hundred mil. So much money, I don't even want to tell you what size. It was overall like a hundred. Smells so good. Oh my god, it's one of my favorite high-end perfumes. It smells so fruity. Like just so fruity and so it's like a high-end sweet fruity smell. It's like the perfect for me. So I've been loving this fragrance for the month of October. Loving it. Loving, loving, loving. Next perfume I've been loving for the month of October is One Destroyed by Taylor Swift. Now I've had this for a couple of years, but I have not used it up yet. Um, but I always love this fragrance in the fall, and especially in the month of October. I, it just smells so good, just so woodsy, sweet. Something you can definitely smell for the fall. Loving it. Now, on to... TV shows, right? That's next. Yes, TV shows. Okay, so the last category is TV shows. And the favorite TV shows I've been loving for the month of October is Once Upon a Time. Okay. Once Upon a Time. Uh, what can I say about it right now? It's only had like four or five episodes. But, um, the first two episodes were horrible, in my personal opinion. Um, I didn't really like last season. I liked the Underworld um, section better than the Sword in the Stone section of Season 5, but still wasn't my favorite season. This season, however, started off really bad, but it's getting really good. It got, started getting really good in Episode 3 with the evil stepmother and Cinderella storyline, and then the fourth episode was a backstory of Heckle and Jekyll. Oh no, Mr. Jekyll, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I love that episode. It's a backstory of them. And then now it's going into Aladdin. And that backstory of Aladdin, Jasmine, and Jafar. And um, I'm going to say the Cinderella one, the, the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and the Aladdin episodes. Really, 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 really good for the month of October. Love those three episodes. Um, now, American Horror Story. American Horror Story, I didn't like last season either. I didn't like the fifth season of Horror Story. Oh, once upon a time, it was a letdown. But the sixth season for each show are coming back for me. And Horror Story is another one. I think that this season is really good. I did not watch the last episode, but it was... I heard it was really good. And I just... The whole thing is just... I love just the whole gist of it this season. I just love it. It's different. It's unique. It's, it's really good. Um... I also love The Real Neils and um, the Halloween episodes coming up. And um, I love The Real Neils. Love, love, love The Real Neils. Um, I just love that show. It's just great. Um, also, what else am I liking for the month of October for TV shows? Okay, now I'm going to go into reality shows. Reality shows I've been liking for the month of October is Little Woman Atlanta. Love Miss Juicy. And just love that show. It was the best season. Much it was. I love first season, but this season was even better. Um, and then I'm gonna say for reality TV, The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Come on, this season is one of my favorites. It is. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely better than last season. I can tell you that much. And um, the reunions coming up. Um, I think next week's the finale or something. But like, it's like really 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 good really good really good season i just i just love the dynamic and next season i heard rumors that the original five are coming back which are jacqueline Teresa, melissa siggy and dolores are coming back this is rumors i heard it's not confirmed and the two new people that that they're adding which will which will be seven cast members is kim d they're making her in a, a, a permanent position and then they're bringing back Danielle Stop. This is rumors that I've heard. These are not confirmed. 
So, with that being said, um, love the season. Um, what else? Reality TV, reality TV. Um, okay, RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars, that's ended, the reunion. Um, the whole show ended. I liked Alaska, I love Alaska, but I felt like even though she did deserve to win, the way she was playing the game, I felt like wasn't right. I feel like she shouldn't have um, kept her friends around just because they were her friends. They should have. She should have got rid of them, and they sh she should have kept the people that were actually good in the challenges. But she just kept her friends, which weren't right. wasn't right. And then I didn't like the little outburst she had too, which was very petty and just childish. She was acting like a, a brat, honestly, which she doesn't need to because she.